And now, your first alert weather. Large area of low pressure beginning to take aim across the region here as we get into your Friday and closing out this week. It's going to be a stormy forecast in this area of low pressure right now. The engine driving this is all sitting still offshore, but we got a deep dip to the jet stream and that's what's sliding in here for tonight and tomorrow. Already picking up on a few lightly scattered hits of rain and snow here on Viper with a bit of wet weather currently working into areas of Fremont County. Just some light rain. We've also had a few spritzes up towards salmon and then also some rain showers as you're getting around Twin Falls in southern Idaho. Right now, the only advisories, though, for our area are for locations primarily above 6,000 feet. So mountain locations are under winter weather advisories from areas of central Idaho wrapping through the Snake Highlands, the national parks, and down through the mountains southeast of Pocatello. As you look around the region, though, we're pretty much concerned with just driving on area highways and mountain roads that get above that 6,000 foot level or go through those mountain passes. So again, we could have some tricky travel as we get through your Friday. Right now at Pocatello at the Farm Bureau Sky Cam, we have 54 degrees. Winds out of the west at 19 miles an hour. Idaho Falls seeing winds at 14 with gusts above 20. 58 degrees and we got a lot of high level cloud cover, but the airport is still seeing some sunshine. Jackson 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies. No wind right now east of the Tetons and we've had some scattered showers, some rain and salmon overcast skies right now with temperatures into the lower 50s and those winds into the teens. So get right to the Viper cast here for tonight. I want to show you that later on of around 10, 11 o'clock, close to midnight, We'll have some more rain and snow beginning to fill in across central and southern Idaho. Watch what happens as we go overnight. I'm going to stop the clock at 2 a.m. because we're going to get a lot of this wet weather coming in overnight. With the dropping temperatures tonight, it's cold enough that we could see some snow mixed in with the rain into areas of the Snake River Plain. And we have a good amount of wet weather heading across the Snake River Plain getting into western Wyoming with just a few spotty showers in central Idaho as we work throughout the day. Now you'll see more wraparound hits of green in here mixed in with the blue. Yeah, we're walking that line. We're going to have temperatures right there into the 30s. And uh, again, much of the day, we're going to be stuck with the 30s and 40s. We do expect to see some melting and more rain for Friday afternoon with some heavier snow bands working into areas of western Wyoming and far eastern Idaho Friday night. There's going to be a little wraparound moisture coming in here for Saturday with partly mostly cloudy skies. Not a lot of wet weather here for Saturday, but it's going to be cold and windy here to get the weekend started. And Vipercast indicating, yes, we could see some snow in the Valley itself in the Snake River Plain. Also places like Island Park and Driggs looking to get some snow here and really picking up the snow as we go into Friday night and Saturday out towards Jackson and areas of western Wyoming. But on top of that, we're also bringing in some heavy rain. So rain mixed in with the snow. And you can see here in the Snake River Plain getting quite a bit of that wet weather, especially in the lower Snake River Plain on your way out towards American Falls and even into areas of Pocatello, Burley, right along I-86, looking to get the lion's share of the wet weather with the rain-snow mix. 50 for Preston tomorrow with 44 in Lava. We've got 47 in McCammon. Highs around 49 for Rexburg. 50 in Jackson. 46 in Island Park and 49 for Dubois. Central Idaho, lower 50s for Salmon and Chalice. Mid-40s in Mackey with highs in the Valley at 49 for Idaho Falls for the uh, Snake River Plain. We're pretty much stuck into the 40s, upper 40s for highs, but we have a lot of wind and the wet weather. It's going to feel colder than that 49. And we got temperatures warming back into the 50s for Saturday. We'll push it closer towards 60 for Sunday. And as we transition into next week, I have some good news. We're going to transition to some nicer springtime weather here. We have just a slight chance of a shower next week and temperatures getting into the 60s. Rexburg 52 for the high Saturday with those gusty winds. Slight chance of a lingering shower for Saturday. Salmon, you'll start to transition to some drier weather by Friday getting into Saturday. Saturday, you'll have just a slight chance of a shower, but nicer conditions just around the bend with numbers back into the 60s. Jackson high of 45 for Saturday. Now we'll have some leftover snow showers for Saturday, pretty much all day there in far eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Sunday's looking nicer with highs closer to 50, and we should hit some 60s next week. Pocatello, mid 50s for Saturday as we transition to some nicer weather for Sunday. The winds are also looking to be a bit lower here for Sunday afternoon. So Sunday is going to be really nice outside. Mainly cloudy conditions for Monday and Tuesday with temperatures into the 60s and close to 70 degrees. Idaho Falls, yeah, wet weather tomorrow. Scattered rain, some snow, even a few thunderstorms possible. It's going to stay windy through Saturday. We'll pull in some nicer conditions for Sunday and we'll have temperatures into the 60s next week as we look ahead through Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Todd.
Thanks, Michael. Consumer News Now. Stocks fell today in a sharp reversal as a jump in Treasury yields offset the optimism coming from another batch of solid corporate earnings. Plus, the Fed Chairman Jerome Powell said today that the central bank is committed to raising rates to bring down inflation.